Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 17, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and we did fall quite um, aggressively earlier in the uh, European session and then rallied again. We're up 0.15% at this current stage. Taking indicators, they are, well, technically flat at this current stage. We have been trading fairly uh, sideways uh, for the last two and a half weeks or three weeks. And uh, the 50 moving average, we've basically been bouncing off the 50 moving average, rallying just about the 20 exponential and just staying within this range. We are still in an uptrend, but we have not seen the same momentum to the upside as we saw only a few weeks ago. So 50 moving average is still holding. If that breaks, that opens the door to the 100 moving average down here at 13.65. Break above the 20 exponential moving average opens the door to the previous highs here, are roughly 14.02, and then all the way up to 14.23. So yes, at this current stage, it is fairly it's difficult to say where we are technically going. This is a very bullish candlestick. It also depends on, for example, whether or not the US dollar depreciates or um, appreciates uh, in tomorrow's session. So that will have an effect where this basically is going. But at the moment, we're just in the middle of nowhere. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. We did have this massive rally here, and uh, it was expected for this to fall back towards the middle of the bullish band, but we have been trading sideways ever since. So what most likely will happen here is that we'll have the 20 moving average moving in this direction and we'll get in contact with the 20 exponential in a few days. Um, so it doesn't look like this is going to break down towards the, uh, the 20 exponential, but just trade, continue trading sideways until we have it runs into the 20 and then we'll probably have a rally from there. So technically, goodness, this is significantly overbought. We're not overstretched yet. We are far away from the top of the bullish band. However, other technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. So let's you look at a euro US dollar. And this fell quite uh, heftily today. So minus 0.25%. Uh, we were rejected at the 200 moving average, which is a fairly bearish sign for this currency pair. We have been trading with basically in a downward um, trend for the last um, two and a half months. Technical indicators are still very bearish. We're on the edge of being oversold, but we have a lot of room to the downside here in the in the in the um, in the Bollinger Band. So we could fall down to 11.81 before finding support here. If you look at the Bollinger Band. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, and this has basically not moved anywhere the last three trading days. So we did break down below the 50 and then rolled up. we rallied again. And now we're just between uh, these moving averages here. Technically, they are more bearish at this current stage than they are bullish. So we could go back towards the 100 moving average, which has been major support in the past. We tested it here and, uh, and bounced from that area. So a break about the 20 exponential opens the door to these previous highs. But if you look at these technical indicators, momentum is to the downside. Break below the 100 moving average opens the door all the way down to the 150 at 0.74. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And as you can see, we continue to fall. We are getting really overstretched here. We are at the bottom of the bullish band. We're significantly oversold and all technical, other technical indicators are still very bearish. Um, the buy to start selling it here, very risky pull back towards the 20, 40 or the 50, that will most likely be sold into like it has been all the way basically the last, uh, basically the last year. So we have been rallying up towards the 50, 20 and the 40, and we have been rejected every single time. So pullbacks towards these moving averages that will most likely attract a lot of sellers. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. Good luck and thank you very much.